Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. While preset reports are useful, you will probably also want to create custom reports for your company file. You can create reports that either detail or summarize your company file's data. You can create a custom transaction detail or summary report from scratch to specify all the report's features. Alternatively, you can modify a preset report to change it to show the data you need. Modifying a preset report often saves time and effort when creating custom reports, especially if there is a preset report that closely resembles the data you need. After modifying a preset report, you can memorize it to save it. Modifying a preset report helps you learn the report customization options available in QuickBooks. After mastering the reporting options, you can then design your own custom transaction detail and summary reports with more confidence. The report customization options change depending on if you modify or create a transaction detail or summary report. A transaction detail report shows detailed transaction information about data in QuickBooks. A summary report summarizes totals from transaction details in QuickBooks. With summary reports, you have more summarization options. This lesson shows how to set reporting options for both transaction detail and summary reports in QuickBooks. To modify a report based on a preset report, open the preset report to use as the basis for the custom report. Next, click the Customize Report button in the toolbar at the top of the preset report to open the Modify Report dialog box. You use the Modify Report dialog box to customize the report settings. Alternatively, to instead create a new transaction detail or summary report from scratch in QuickBooks, select Reports, Custom Reports from the menu bar. Then choose either Transaction Detail or Summary from the side menu that appears. In the Modify Report dialog box that then appears, you set all the reports options on the tabs that appear to create your own custom report from scratch. In the Modify Report dialog box, the major report customization categories appear as tabs across the top of the dialog box. These tabs are Display, Filters, Header Footer, and Fonts and Numbers. Generally, the Display tab lets you add and or customize report columns, set summarization options, and change the report's date range. The Filters tab lets you choose which transactions to show in the report. Changing the options on the Display and Filters tabs lets you view almost anything about your QuickBooks data. You make most report modifications on these two tabs. In addition to the Display and Filters tabs, you use the Header Footer tab and the Fonts and Numbers tab to control the general appearance of the report header and footer and its text and numbers. The Display tab shows slightly different options depending upon if you are creating or modifying a transaction detail or summary report. For both report types, you use the Report Date Range section to select the date range of transactions used for the report data. You can use the Dates drop-down to select from the most commonly used report ranges. Alternatively, you can use the From and To Date selectors to specify a starting date and ending date for the transactions to use. Also, for both report types, you choose how the report calculates and displays income and expenses by choosing either Accrual or Cash from the Report Basis section that appears, if available, for your report. The next section, Columns, is where the primary difference between transaction detail and summary reports appears. If creating a transaction detail report, then in the Columns section, you can click the name of any column in the scrollable listing to place a checkmark next to it and show that column in the report. To remove a column from the report, click it to remove the check from the column name. You can choose how to display a total over the transactions by making a choice from the Total by drop-down menu if available for your report. You can use the Sort by drop-down to choose by which column's values to sort the report. You can choose any report column added to the report from this drop-down menu. You can then select either Ascending Order or Descending Order to choose the sorting method to apply to the column's values. Next, for Transaction Detail Reports, you can click the Advanced button to open the Advanced Options dialog box. Here you will see the Include and Open Balance slash Aging sections. In the Include section, 
you can select either the All option to include all accounts regardless of whether or not there was any activity within the account for the date range selected, or select the In Use option to only use accounts that had activity in the date range specified. For aging reports, you can select to view the customer's open balance as of the current faster date or as of the report date by selecting the desired option button. After setting any advanced options if needed, click the OK button in the Advanced Options dialog box to apply them and return to the Modify Report window. For summary reports, the Columns section in the Display tab looks very different. Most summary reports show columns of totals for the selected rows of data. In this section, you can choose what type of data to display in the report columns by making a selection from the Display Columns by dropdown. Then choose the values to summarize in the rows by choosing from the adjacent Display Rows by dropdown. To the right of that, you can display columns for the amount, quantity, or both by selecting an option button below the Display Columns for label. Then, to the right, you can choose how to sort the data by making a selection from the Sort By dropdown. You can select to perform an ascending or descending sort on this data by making a choice from the Sort In option button group. For some types of report date ranges, such as this fiscal year for example, you can also add comparison subcolumns to the report by checking any desired checkboxes shown in the Add Subcolumns For section. The choices available depend on the date range selected. Simply check the checkboxes to add those summary subcolumns to the report if desired. Finally, if needed, you can click the Advanced button to open the Advanced Options dialog box. For summary reports, you can choose what records to use in the report by making your choice from the Display Rows and Display Columns sections. You can select Active Accounts to only show data from accounts that had activity in the selected report period. All accounts to show data from accounts regardless of activity in the selected period, or non-zero accounts to show any account that has a non-zero balance regardless of activity. You can then choose the reporting period to use for your data from the Reporting Calendar section. Your choices are Fiscal Year, Calendar Year, or Income Tax Year. After setting any advanced options, in the Advanced Options dialog box, click the OK button to apply them and return to the Display tab within the Modify Report window. For both Transaction Detail and Summary Reports, the Filters tab in the Modify Report window lets you create and modify report filters to further refine the data selected for the report. For example, if you displayed the account data in your report on the Display tab, you could apply a filter to the account data to only show expense account types. This is only one example of filtering report data and you can apply and modify any of the filters in this tab to customize your report content. If the report you are modifying already has filters applied, like the filters applied to many preset reports, the current filters and their settings appear in the Current Filter Choices section of the Filters tab. You can click any filter in this list to view its settings to the left in the Choose Filter section. Here you can change the filter settings by using the options available. Depending on which filter you select, the filtering options vary. Some filters need you to type a matching value, some let you select from a drop-down menu of choices, and some let you select an option from one or two possibilities. To add new filters to the report, select the name of a filter to apply from the Choose Filter list, and then change its settings. The filters in this list appear in alphabetical order to help you find the desired filter to apply. To read more about how a selected filter can be applied, Click the Tell Me More button at the bottom of this tab to open a help file about the filter and how it can be applied to reports. This is a good way to familiarize yourself with many of the available report filters. To completely remove an applied report filter, select the name of the filter to remove from the Current Filter Choices list at the right side of the Filters tab. Then click the Remove Selected Filter button to delete the report filter. Also note that both the Display and Filters tabs contain a Revert button that will revert any changes you have made to them if needed. You can click the Header slash Footer tab in the Modify Report window to change the display of content within the header and footer of the report. In the Show Header Information section, check any content to show in the header of the report. Then type the text to display into the adjacent fields.
Repeat this process for the Show Footer Information section to choose the content to show in the Report Footer area. Then use the Alignment drop-down in the Page Layout section to select the desired layout for the header and footer content in the report. You can click the Fonts and Numbers tab in the Modify Report window to set the display of fonts for the report sections shown in the Fonts section on this tab. You can also set the display of the report's number values in this tab. To set the font used for a report section, select the report section to format from the Change Font For list. The current font used to display the selected section appears to the right of the list. Click the Change Font button to open a dialog box that lets you change the appearance of the text. Select your desired font options from the choices shown, and then click the OK button in the dialog box to apply them and return to the Modify Report window. Repeat this process for any other report sections whose fonts you wish to modify. To set the display of negative numbers in the report, make a selection from the options in the Show Negative Numbers section. You can set optional display settings for all numbers in the Show All Numbers section by checking any available checkboxes if desired. When finished modifying the report, click the OK button in the Modify Report window to apply the custom report settings. When the report appears on screen, you can modify some report settings using the toolbar at the top of the report. If using QuickBooks 2018 or later, you can click the Accrual or Cache Option button for the Report Basis setting shown towards the upper left corner of the Reports Preview to switch the Report Basis if that setting is available for the report. To show the report's other applied filter settings, click the Show Filters link towards the upper left corner of the report. Then click one of the filters in this section to open the Filters tab of the Modify Report dialog box and select the filter. You can then change its settings and click the OK button in the dialog box to change the applied filter. To remove a filter from this section of the report, click the X at the right end of the filter. To hide the applied filters when finished, click the Hide Filters link towards the upper left corner of the report. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.